Welcome back techies. Welcome back to yet another video. This is a new video in our ongoing series on Tinkercad. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a simple buzzer circuit using Tinkercad. Now, this buzzer circuit, we have made it in real life in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those previous videos, please pause this video and go check out those videos. The links are provided in the description. Now, without wasting any further of our time, let's dig into the video. Now, just like the previous video, we are going to click on new circuit. Now, what we are going to use, we are going to use a breadboard. Firstly, I'll take the breadboard, put it in the center. Now, I'm going to take my batteries. Right, I'll just rotate the batteries. I'll increase the number of batteries to two. Okay. Now I'm just going to connect the positive terminal and the negative terminal of the battery to the breadboard like this. As I said in the previous video, we can change the color of our wires. So I'll be turning this negative terminal to black and positive terminal to red. These are universal colors that we use uh, widely for showing positive and negative. Positive stands for red, negative stands for black. So I have given the connections of the battery to the breadboard now all these pins are positive terminals and all these pins are negative terminals now what i'm going to do is i'll take my buzzer we have piezo here that is buzzer now i'm going to take my buzzer i'll put it here okay so what i'm going to do is i won't be adding any kind of resistance because adding the resistance will only lower the sound so unlike LEDs that when given extra power, they burst, buzzers don't burst. So they just make extra noise. So I can directly give the connections. Now what I'm going to do is I'll take the positive terminal. I'll connect it here. Right. And I'll take the, I'll change the wire color. I'll take the negative terminal and I will connect it here. Okay. This is a very simple circuit, right? So now what we are going to do is we'll be using the start simulation as you can see this lines this curves represents that the buzzer is making a sound so what happens if i increase the number of batteries now first stop the simulation i'll just click on batteries i'll change it to four batteries okay now when i start the simulation as you can see the lines have increased meaning the sound produced by the buzzer has increased so I hope you all understand this simple buzzer circuit and thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.